Only a few weeks into ski season, and we are already covering stories about people rescued from avalanches. But now Colorado crews have a cool new tool, not only studying avalanches, but they trigger them without affecting mountain traffic. Jamie Leary shows us the new equipment in action. This is one of two new pieces of equipment that they have here, and it costs upwards of $4,500. These binoculars not only have the ability to detect a thermal signature on a person, but it can also tell the temperature of different layers of snow in total darkness. It's really cool. I mean, there's a lot of things that we get to see through those new thermal imaging devices. As the director of the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, Ethan Green is a certified snow nerd. Well, I did my uh, dissertation on heat and mass transfer in snow. So oh <laughs> it's, it's cool technology. The Avalanche Center works side by side with Jamie Yon. CDOT's avalanche expert. These are pretty significant avalanche paths, and there's a lot of traffic on these roads, and so we are constantly looking at ways how we can be better. They are ahead of the game in many ways. And this new thermal imaging camera is something that we've just started using this year. With it, they can do mitigation at night, meaning less disruption to traffic. It also means more information about each avalanche. How big they are, how far they're running, how much of the slope is releasing. These devices help us see all of that. The new year will also bring a removable, remotely triggered exploding chamber. 15 of them. The helicopter basically just flies the units up and sets them on the stands. It looks like a little spaceship. It's called Obelex. It's being used in other places, but certainly this will be the biggest Obelex array in North America. Thermal imaging is only the beginning. Uh, the whole idea is that we're trying to release these avalanches when we want them to go and not just let a large storm come through and release them on their own. Oh. In Summit County, Jamie Leary covering Colorado first.